back. It's been about 10 days since we first started our wine and it's ready to move on to step two, which is basically uh, racking into our secondary. Uh, racking, just a term used to mean that we're going to siphon or move our wine off the sediment that's settled out uh, over to a fresh container where we can let it just kind of finish and age um, and continue to let it settle. So we're going to go through these basic steps here. Uh, for those um, that are doing at home, these are the steps that we'd be following. Uh, if you would choose to be doing our in-store wine workshops, uh, this step you would actually um, would miss out on. It's, it's pretty simple actually, but uh, anyway, th this, this step here uh, you wouldn't have to be doing. So anyway, uh, first thing we're going to do is get our container sterilized. I have some easy clean mixed with water and I already have it in here uh, to rinse around. back in our bucket and let it drain off a little. I also have our siphon equipment in my bucket already with a sanitizer so that can be sterilized ready to go. So we'll let this drain off here. And while that's draining, um, we're going to pop our lid off and the first thing we'll do is we'll just take one final hydrometer reading to see where it's, uh, to make sure it's finished off. So I had that in the sterilizer. And uh, we can just actually put this uh, right in the bucket with the wine. So I'll pull this lid off. And I'm going to put this in and take a reading. So uh, when if we first uh, did a reading it with the sugar in, it's going to be floating up higher. And so hopefully uh, when we put this in, the reading, the sugars are fermented to alcohol and the, the reading should be much lower back down. Uh, somewhere in the in the blue area. So we'll put that in just to make sure um, and uh, see where this floats at. Um, so if it happens to be a higher, that means that it didn't uh, uh, totally ferment. Maybe our temperature is a little on the cool side and, and so it didn't, uh, some of the sugars are still left. If that's the case, uh, we don't want to go to step two. So it needs to be floating in, in the blue area before uh, which is around, uh, back down around 1% or even a little bit lower than that. Um, it goes, the hydrometer goes down to 0.99. Um, so we want to make sure all the sugars are fermented. So it, uh, it's reading good, so we're in good shape um, to move on to our next step. Uh, so we'll pull this back out, rinse it off, put it back in our bucket. Finish draining our container off. All right. Always remember to keep things, your hands clean and sterilized. So I'm going to just rinse my hands again before I grab my siphons to get set up. This has already been sterilized in our bucket, so I'll get our auto siphon ready to use. Kind of clip this in place, and I usually like to slide it down so it hits the bottom and then lift it up so I know I'm, I'm a, a little bit above the sediment. Get our siphon ready. And last, our hose. Head rolled up and submerged in the sanitizer. Drain that off. I usually like to keep a little pot handy to uh, get the siphon started. I'm going to attach our hose and then we're going to pinch off the clamp to create a vacuum. And then we're just going to pull up, this is the auto siphon, pull up so the hose is full. And then I'm going to drop this, actually we can probably just put it down in with this one. Push down and the flow will start and we're good to go. Actually, I didn't have to use my bucket on the auto siphon. And I'm going to just slide this down so it's set on the bottom. There's a tip on the auto siphon so we don't want to pull that off because that's what keeps it from sucking the sediment directly off the bottom. So everything looks good. Um, so we're going to get our line siphoned over into the secondary and, uh, and then it's just going to sit for 
another two weeks to uh, just kind of just mellow out, mellow out and finish. Um, and then we'll move to our third step, which will be the stabilizing and uh, degassing stage of the wine. So um, that is about all there is uh, to, to stage two here of the winemaking process. So um, join us again here in another two weeks and we'll, we'll show you step three. So have a good day.